Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I would like to warmly thank uh, all colleagues who have tabled in total uh, 72 amendments regarding the draft report on monitoring the application of EU law 2015. Your important contribution may improve and enrich the content of this report where possible. Given that the appropriate application of the European law may lead to a fair, solid and inclusive Europe, I can confirm that I will take into account especially the amendments which, in my opinion, seek to safeguard the above-mentioned crucial aim. Same, the same applies for amendments which stress the need to effectively protect fundamental European values and rights enshrined in the treaties and in the Charter of Fundamental Rights, as well as for amendments that contribute to further clarification of this report. Though I fear that it will be difficult to draft enough comprehensive compromise amendments, as the most of the tabled amendments are self-contained, as a result, they cannot easily be covered by compromise amendments. On the other hand, I would also like to express my regret for some amendments that delete parts of my report, which intend to stress the negative effects of the implementation of austerity measures in member states on European legal institutions and on European citizens. In my view, it is indispensable, especially in times of economic and political crisis, to highlight, for example, the fact that all EU institutions, even when they act as members of groups of international lenders, are bound by the EU treaties and by the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union. It is also necessary for a just and appropriate application of EU law to stress that EU institutions should refrain from signing and implementing agreements or memoranda whose consistency with EU law and effectiveness is highly disputed as they negatively affect the rights and the lives of many European citizens. And in fact, it is almost impossible for individuals and for member states within the existing legal framework of the EU to litigate successfully against such infringements. It takes strength and courage to admit the present deficiencies regarding the application of EU law, but this is absolutely necessary, because the acceptance of crucial real facts may open the way for a better European construct. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you as well.